Alright, brand new Mac Bob Beck Magnetic Pulsar for auction. Brand new. All new parts. I got it at auction on eBay to the highest bidder. It's a party strobe design. Everything's brand new, freshly built. I got images here. I'll have the eBay link below the video YouTube video for those that want to do a bid on it. Again, everything is all new parts, custom design, brand new. The description for the unit is in the eBay description. The, the parts and the voltage, the microfarads that are and the capacitors. This will ship two to two days, no less than two days after it's bid on and bought, and the shipping's free. This is the device right here, as you can see. It's a simple party strobe design that I built, custom design. I put a piece of tape on the front flasher just to keep the flash from, you know, hurting your eyes. Of course, you can use whatever strip you want once you do the purchase. I have RCA connectors coming out of the back, as you can see. We have an on-off switch on the back. For power on and off. Very nice. There's a flash rate. I usually don't use the flash rate, but I, I keep the flash rate all the way all the way down so that it's at the slowest rate. Meaning that you get the most um, power out of your capacitors at the lowest rate, which is best or ideal for the best charge coming off your capacitors. RCA ports on the back usually whites on the left side if you're looking at the back right red on the right I'll have the stickers on put on here once I ship it out for the, for the one that does the highest bid so that they know where to plug the right plugs into normally you wouldn't want to run this unit longer than 45 minutes to 60 minutes or any longer than 60 minutes because the heat coming off the capacitors. I've never had any uh, overheat issues running it longer than 60 minutes per set. But yeah, all the parts in here are brand new. I have them soldered nicely and glued down with glue on the inside. The capacitors are two 330 microfarad capacitors which hold a nice charge. I'll plug it in to show you how it operates. And again, white plug if you're looking from the back. White plug is on the left side. Red plug, RCA plug on the right side. And that's it. Let me plug her in into the wall. Standard US plug. And you switch it on. Of course you want to keep your coil away from electronic devices by, you know, six feet, at least six feet, because there's a magnetic charge coming off the coil, obviously, from the box. And so let me switch it on and show you a demonstration on a piece of metal so that you can hear the EMF charge coming off the coil. Let me flip it on. You can probably hear it. Again, I don't want to put the coil too close to the camera because of the charge coming off the coil, but I'll put it against bare metal so that you can hear the charge coming off the coil. Let me get the camera close to the bed 
so you can hear the operating. Quite a bit, quite a bit of power coming off the chart. Can you hear it? With your ear to the to the metal, I could hear it up to like 12 inches away. You can't hear it with the mic on this camera, but if you put your ear to the to the metal, you could hear it like maybe a foot, foot and a half off in a quiet room. That's how it operates. Usually if you're running this for uh, 45 minutes to 60 minutes, I'd recommend 45 minutes and then, you know, switch it off and give it a 10 minute cool period, you know, just to keep the capacitors nice and cool, but Again, I, I've never had any issues with the capacitors, you know, overheating over an hour period, but typically you would want to run it for 45 minutes, give it a 10 minute break, and then start your another set of 45 minutes if you wish, but that's how the 